Now, for our headliner for tonight, aka last, uh, <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's awesome, he's a ton of fun, uh, uh, he's right, please, please put your hands together for Ricky Battle! <laughs> How you doing, Santa Monica? Uh, so yeah, that's right, you heard it right, Ricky Battle. My name is Ricky Battle, I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pretty cool name, right? Huh? Cool name? Yeah, don't be fooled. This is the name that can work against you sometimes. Matter of fact, sometimes this name writes checks that my ass cannot cash. Case in point. First time I ever tried out for organized sports. The coach, he sees a kid, a young kid, rangy, you know, athletic kid, a little bit bigger than the other kids, a black kid, and he makes a judgment. He makes a judgment. He finds out my name, and it's done and done. I like it. I like it. Get this kid a helmet. All right, kid, get on out there and just show us what you got. Matter of fact, do what comes natural. What the fuck is that natural? Is that what comes natural as you sit the black kid on all the other kids? Is that what's natural? Okay. And that may have been a little racist, but we're gonna let that slide. So I get out there. Hut one, hut two, hike! Oh yeah, oh, oh kid, wrong way, kid, wrong way, wrong way! That's one. Hi! Oh, there he goes. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, kid, yeah. Nice tackle. He's on your team. He's on your side. Same side. Long story short, my young ass set black people in organized sports back 50 years that day. That's right. 50 years. To this day, if you go out for Pee Wee Sports and Adelaide Belly, they want three references. They want to know who saw you play. Who saw you play? Enough hearts have been broken with failed expectations. I'm also the reason why. And this is for you parents out there with uh, kids who aren't all that great in sports. I'm the reason why, no matter how shitty your kid is at sports, everybody gets a trophy. That's right, that's me. <laughs> gets a trophy, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I've got kids of my own, and I recently took a, uh, a week off a little while ago and was home with uh, my son. And uh, I got a question. I stand before you a broken man. If anybody has an answer to this question, for Christ's sake, shout it out. Don't even wait. Just give it to me. Is it still shaking baby syndrome if his ass is 15 years old? Is it? Can they get me for this when I'm asking? Any lawyers in the house, how much time am I, gonna look, am I looking at? Am I looking at, right? There's no book for this shit, right? I'm telling you, having a 13 uh, or 15 year old, having a teenager, is like going to war or getting married. Right? So you read, I don't give a shit what book you read, who you talk to, I don't give a shit what video you watch. You will never be prepared for this eventuality, eventuality, eventuality I'm sorry. Uh, it, it, the reality will stand up and kick you in the nuts. You will still, no matter how prepared you thought you were, you will still be flat-footed, pants around your ankles, dick in your hand, mouth wide open, like, what the fuck, did I, how did I get here? It kills you, it's a kick. But they're your babies, they're your babies. And we gotta protect the babies. And now they got this thing where these, uh, these female teachers are sleeping with their male students. Now, when I was a kid, <laughs> right? right? I know, you read, you read my mind, you read my mind. When I was a kid, you wished for that shit as a kid. But when I was a kid, every once in a while, a male teacher would sleep with a female student. Bang, he get fired, he was out of here. Her shamed ass family would move out of town, gone, done. Basically, no harm, no foul, right? So. <laughs> but nowadays, the female teachers are sleeping with their male, their male students, and I gotta tell my kid, Son, I gotta talk to you. you. You know about these female teachers sleeping with their male students. And I gotta tell you, as your father, it's not a good idea. It's not something you wanna get involved with. There's so many inherent, just bad shit that can go wrong. You're not ready for it. And I'm looking at my son and I'm telling him, and then I'm thinking, who the fuck I'm talking to? I'm, I'm, I gotta think, what's really at stake here? So I tell my son, son, basically, if one of your female teachers approaches you in a sexual manner or they wanna have sex with you, what, uh, what I'm thinking is, you do that shit. You do it. Do it, right? You spank that shit like an unruly child. Right? You smack it like a mountain prostitute. You tag that shit like migrating wildlife, son. I'm telling you right now, I don't give a shit what she looks like. I don't care. I don't. It doesn't matter what she asks you to do. I don't give a shit if she wants you to wear a leather speedo, a pink tutu, diving flippers, a beater mask, and spank her ass with a cricket paddle. You get in there and you swing for the cheap seats, right? Son, you don't have the grades, son. 
You don't have teammates. <laughs> Bump, bump, bump. 